Everyday life on the surface may appear quite unexceptional to the common man or woman. It is created through schedules, routines and habits. This is our mundane world in which we do not often think much about. It's normal to us. However, what creates this normality is hundreds of years of societal construction, especially aspects surrounding gender and repetition. I would like to form my argument surrounding everyday life through Rita Felsky's The Invention of Everyday Life and the film Jean Dielman, 23 Quai du Commerce, 1080 Bruxelles by Chantal Ackerman. Through my investigation of these texts, I will show how our normal lives are truly abnormal. In this video essay, I shall explore and investigate scenes of the film in relevance to Rita Felsky's theory and other relevant sources about everyday life, gender and repetition, and conclude that normality is an implicit social construct. Felsky argues that the concept of repetition is an important factor of what truly creates everyday life. As mentioned before, on the surface, everyday life is constructed through routines, schedules and daily habits. As we can see from Felsky, Felsky's argument, everyday life is a cycle that has been constructed through many years of carrying out the same daily rituals. It is created in what we now know as modern times. Furthermore, this idea of modern everyday life has hardly changed throughout history as our lives are constructed through patterns of society and expectations. Let's see how this contributes to the critique proposed by the film Jean Dielman. In the first scene of the film, we can see that the titular character is making ends meet through acts of prostitution. Firstly, the situation seems quite ordinary. Jean welcomes the unknown man into her apartment, and they both go into the bedroom, and then hours later, once it's dark, they return to the door where Jean earns her money. But if we take the scene in context with our argument about gender, repetition, and societal construction, this scene has a deeper meaning. There are quite a few elements to take from this initial scene. It's interesting that the scenes of prostitution, prostitution are at the very beginning or an end of the film. This helps to put more emphasis on Zhang's ordinary repetitive life in her world of the kitchen. Another aspect that is also present throughout the entire film is how an action, once an action is done, the camera lingers on a vacant space, which helps give the feeling of an emphasized pause. It helps us to reshape our views towards what makes everyday life. This idea of repetition is reflected in Felsky's argument as she states that the woman's everyday life is doomed to repetition. From this, we can see how important this analysis of the, of the title character's daily cycle is for our understanding of how this actually acts as a form of societal construction. It shows how the person's gender is constructed through societal traditions and expectations. Zhang is a single, widowed mother in the middle of a masculine world and must abide to the norms set by society. In the second scene I would like to analyze are the moments where Zhang is preparing food and living in the world of her kitchen. This montage represents the literal idea of everyday life seeming unexceptional on the surface. However, a recurrent motif in my argument is that the film is exploring the idea of societal construction. One of these social concepts is the idea of the beautiful woman in the kitchen and tending the house. Julie A. Winterich, in her article about a woman's aging body, shows this concept of so social construction as he argues that the aging female is outside of femininity. If the cultural meaning of femininity is based on the young body, then the aging one is by definition outside the bounds of femininity. From this, we can see how Jean Dielman acts as an exploration of how gender is constructed and ultimately defied. Another useful article which relates to how food acts as a form of constructing gender suggests that despite recognition of some changing cultural discourse regarding domestic cooking and food preparation as a largely woman's task, and modest increases in interest and in participation of men in household food chores in recent years, 
food continues to remain in intimately associated with feminine characteristics, such as feelings of moral obligation or caregiving responsibilities. This is vital for our understanding of how Jean Dielman approaches gender and everyday repetition. The final and most important scene of the film I would like to analyse is the climax, where Jean has another client for a prostitution. As we watch the scene, this is exactly where the concept of gender and repetition is broken. As previously mentioned, this ending breaks the normality of Jean's everyday life, and of her constructed gender and that we took, well, that we took for granted. Ackerman wants to portray the complexities hidden deep within our apparently unexceptional, unexceptional daily lives. In relation to my arguments about social construction, the scene represents not a turn, but a truth about modern everyday life. Furthermore, it suggests we all want to break from the norm that society has created for us. Jean Dielman is an important and impactful film about how we view our daily lives and the implicit social construct at work. It is clear that the film focuses on the traditional female world that we can recognize, but the film delves deeper and focuses on how this is constructed. Furthermore, it asks us, how do we construct this form of everyday life? Has this been the way for centuries? Is there something abnormal at play? From my analysis of the film and of Felsky's theory on everyday life, I can see that everyday life is indeed a social construct that shapes our lives in ways we would not notice at first.